Hey! <laughs> Welcome to 89 Questions. Welcome, everyone. This is Sanam Saeed, of course. And she's here on 89 Questions. 89 Questions. 89 Questions. We don't have 89 Questions oh, okay. because that's way too many questions. Yeah. We just call it 89 Questions <laughs> because it's City FM 89. Oh, it's not 89 Questions. It's not 89, oh, 89 Questions. Oh, that would take yes, yes. It's more like 8 to 9 Questions. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, welcome to 89 Questions. We're here. Sanam, we're going to have to ask you some very difficult questions okay. right now. First of all, okay, take your glass. Uh, first of all, Focus. what can you see two miles away? Uh, my, I can't see too close. So actually, I was like, I don't need these right <laughs> now. I, I just, I, I saw you take your glasses off. I, I can't no, throw you. Because when I'm surprised, so this is my normal eyesight. Yeah. But you, you throw these things and I laugh and I surprise my eyes get even bigger. You see that? It's like a Snapchat filter. Oh, that's so cool. So I'd rather just not. That's cool. Right but actually, you look good in those glasses. Thanks. Are you like a very fashionable person? No. You're not? Is it, it's neither am I. It's very hard for me to like go shopping. When what's the last thing I you shop? I admire people who just get it together really fast. I know. Somebody told me uh, at a fashion guy. <laughs> actually, Amar Bilal told me. Hi, Amar. He told me that when you get dressed, you start with your shoes. Oh. And so I thought I'll do that. And it took me two hours to pick my socks, <laughs> and I couldn't even get to my shoes. It was one of those things. But Sanam, what's the last thing you went shopping for? Oh my God. Religion? Is that? Uh, no. <laughs> the last thing I went shopping for, I, it's been months. I you haven't just didn't because go I was shopping. busy with the play, so I haven't really had. Uh, the last thing I went shopping for was maybe cereal or something, like Ooh. healthy cereal or something. So when you are in a play, you really get into it. You you love theater. You've already you always, you've always gone back to theater. You could have stayed in television and made tons and tons of money doing play after play after play. What brings you back to kind of doing theater? Um, well, not to get, uh, I I had time in the middle, I had about, I had taken some time off um, and I thought I'd use that time wisely by doing uh, some theatre. It's something that I'd always want to come back to and I always want to make time for but I never have time for it. But this time, after my mom, I had some time so I th- thought TV would just be too time consuming so I'd do this. And do you, and when you get that connection with the audience, how do you go back to television after that when they, they react so viscerally right there and then they give you so much? I mean, you are, a, of course, you are a cult personality, I can say, in Pakistan because you've been in these dramas, in these big, huge TV series where everyone C-Reses. kind of knows. Series. I, I just made up that word. <laughs> Uh, add it to the Urdu dictionary. It's series. Uh, if uh, how do you then uh, go back to how did how do you come back cha-ching. and forth? Oh, cha-ching! It's money, <laughs> money. That my, um, my second is... question is: Can I have some? <laughs> no, I... for our show. For our show. Okay. Um, I go back to TV because it has the largest viewership. It's where the ball keeps rolling. It's where you're constantly in the limelight. You get your. Um, endorsements from that you get your fan following from that you get your directors to pick you for films for that you get to experiment with different kinds of roles Uh, you just stay alive through TV basically but when people meet you on the street do they expect you to be that girl from the drama when they meet you they did for a long time and I think I kind of broke that image a little by doing other work or maybe just my I don't know my image I kind of changed a little bit because I was Kashaf Kashyap Apa Baji for a long time. Yeah. And even I found directors found it hard to cast me in anything because they just see me as ye to sabki bhen so we can't cast her in something sexy or different or heroine like. You are too you are too the girl I next door. I was too the girl next door and that's everyone's sister. And everyone's sister. So um But I mean I remember while, you three years to break. 3 years. Yeah. I remember you from way back when, when you were a VJ. A VJ. You were a VJ and you were like happy and like all over. You were 18 years old. Are you happy anymore? You are oh. very happy. <laughs> you are very happy right now. Please don't leave the interview. <laughs> Because <laughs> you were like, you were happy then. You were you happy were... then. No, I mean, you were just, I, I would say you were like that VJ, the bubbly yes. kind of like all young. over the, the young. Yeah, oh, we were young. That's we right. Young. I'm 40. So you're still young. Oh, yeah. No matter what I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will always be young. <laughs> and then we were in Blackfish together. We yes. were in a we were improv troupe. You've pretty much run the gauntlet of doing everything now. Uh, what's next for you in film? I haven't because done radio. Now, radio would be You fun. haven't done radio? Yeah. 
I haven't done radio. Well, I have a hookup. Oh, I could try that, but um, yeah, that would be too many things. I need time for that, and yeah. I don't want to wake up in the morning and do a morning. Yeah, show. you have to get up very, very yeah. early. For I mean, this. I get up early in any case for work. Otherwise, but like six thirty. Absolutely, I'm still dreaming. I'm not even <laughs> sure I'm awake for this. Okay, we go way back. You you started. I mean, fourteen years. Fourteen years. You were eighteen. You were seventeen years Seven. old. You decided to join an improv troupe. It was Pakistan's first improvisational comedy troupe. Um, it was called Blackfish. Yes. Uh, and it was an amazing time. We performed for three years together. The best. I've learned so much from that, and it's really helped me become a better actor, become more focused, become more um, quick-witted, uh, responsive. I think it's helped in all aspects of life. I think everyone should do improv. And we're going to do a Blackfish reunion show. Yes, we will. All right. So Umar, if you're watching, and Faris, and Yasir, and Cyrus, and, Cyrus, and Ishma, and Ishma and Sami, Ishma Sami. If you guys are watching this, we're doing a reunion show. So come back. Come back. That's right. That's yes, right, exactly. Don't get paid like the rest of us. <laughs> Just come back over here. But now everyone's kind of dispersed all over the world. Everyone's yeah, doing their own Australia, artistic endeavor. New York, Singapore, Karachi, how Dubai. Do you, how do you challenge yourself after this? After film, where do you go? Uh... I don't know. I guess because I've done all the mediums. You yeah, I know. I mean, think, where yeah. do you go? Um, just with different roles, I suppose. Obviously, um, we're still kind of a growing market and a growing industry, film-wise, theater-wise, which is why I always like running back because you get like right now with Thirty Nine Steps, I'm playing, and remember how accents was always something I always enjoyed doing. So I get to do the accents in theater, which is why I love it too. Boston accents, or New York accent, or a British, and this I'm playing a German, a Scots. A Scottish accent and an English accent, so that's uh, kind of like a dream come true. Can you please do a one-woman show? Yeah. A one-woman show. If I write you a one-woman show, will you do it? Huh? If it's written. Yes. If I write it for you. You know what? This, With all this the is accents what this industry and everything. has done, I'm afraid to be funny. Challenge what about writing, this? directing, producing? Never. Producing maybe because my organizational skills and being an actor, knowing what lacks in the industry in terms of production, is what I would like to bring forth, but. That would take away my focus and time and energy from acting, and right now, I'd like to do that. I mean, I guess you also play these women who are very empowered, and sometimes they're these very serious roles on TV of these women who are empowered and they're strong, and they're breaking barriers. What about and all these other Pakistani women watch you and they understand? Wow, this is kind of how you have to be. What about the aspiring women actors out there who are thinking about getting into this and picking their roles and deciding what kind of an actress do I need to do? Where do you lead them? Uh, um well like I've always said there are two types of actors there's one that goes after the fame and the fortune and wants to be a star just wants to be known and recognized and then you kind of do uh, whatever it is that comes your way and then you pick roles accordingly uh those people tend to pick roles that are more commercial or that have more viewership or that are just more fun to dress up in or I don't know how that works and then the other side uh, wants to act wants to maybe make a difference wants to move people touch people emotionally um, and challenge themselves constantly so first of all decide which one it is that you want to pick and that makes life a lot easier because then you can pick scripts that um, that affect you that move you and then in turn you give a great performance or you pick roles that are just um, I don't know what to say without sounding just mm, bad. bad. <laughs> or you bad. just pick roles that because it's work. Some people just have to work. Some people don't have the choice to be like, oh, should I do this? Shouldn't? Should yeah, I do they just that? need. You, you yeah, gotta work. You gotta, you gotta pay, pay bills. the bills. You gotta do so, that stuff. Um, but just, the, I'd, I'd say, just stay true to who you are always. You, uh, you are now in a new play, Thirty Nine Steps, and your uh, co-actors are going to be joining us oh, right now. <laughs> the young testosterone-filled boys. There are three of them, and there's just me. There are three. <laughs> Three boys. I was stuck with you boys in Blackfish. I know, also. I know. Even gone, when no. you did improv with us, it was all boys and, and if just you. Re reunite and Ishma won't be here again. It'll be yes. Me if Ishma is not here at all, it's just too much testosterone. <laughs> but you know, but of course, you are the powerful woman. We've learned that from your dramas. Oh, yeah. So you just got to live up to your <laughs> reputation. But uh, but for right now, but you guys, you're listening to City FM 89.